Whoever gave the name to this plant must have been aware of an immensely powerful, truly celestial energy hidden behind its already very amazing appearance. Already, Angelica's height is impressive. It is certainly one, if not the tallest, of all the Umbellifera, the Apiaceae plants, rising vigorously up to two meters from the soil, even more sometimes, and spreading its huge seed umbrellas into the air, while its root, as if to counterbalance the thrust for the highest, penetrates deep into the ground. Angelica is a medicinal plant coming from Northern Europe, where it thrives and where it contains a bigger amount of bioactive compounds. The Vikings uh, introduced Angelica to other areas in Europe, apparently, when they started to do trade with their inhabitants. The plant was a very important trade product and was even used as currency for commercial exchange. The Latin name Angelica Archangelica comes from the story of a French monk of the 17th century. This monk said that he had a dream with the archangel Michael, the healing angel or archangel Raphael maybe, <laughs> and he told him the power of the plant against the plague. Angelica is one of the few medicinal plants where the theme of essential oils has literally overpowered its entire build-up. You can find essential oils of Angelica everywhere, in the seeds, and the stem, and the leaves, and of course particularly in the root. The spicy, fresh and aromatic fragrance of Angelica root oil is direct and very clear, and it creates its very distinctive aura. The essential oil from the plant suggests something like don't give up, stick with it, nothing has been lost, don't be afraid, begin to rebuild, you are strong, nothing will knock you down. Looking at the plant, everything tells us that it is fully manifest and yet fully elevated and imbibed by most subtle energies. No wonder that Angelica root oil plays a major role as a remedy against fear and as an antidepressant, acting as a strong nerve tonic and energizer for our energies. It is rare to find an essential oil mainly composed of monoterpenes, whose influence is so all-encompassing, grounding and strengthening at the same time. Of course, Angelica has not the subtle floral notes of a jasmine or the tuberose oil, nor the fresh enticing notes of maybe lemon verbena or melissa, but it has something unique and vital. As a root oil, its straightforwardness signals help from the earth, and this particularly with the help of these basic fragrant building blocks, as I said, the monoterpenes, which are normally more found in the trees or in the conifer trees, in the citrus fruits and so on. And uh, how, how tall does it grow? Is that the final growth here or is it still growing Another higher? Another one feet it will go. Uh -huh. And in the center then the, there will be uh, some uh, for the seeds. Flowering will be there. Small flowering will be there. But seed will not set. Yes. Another two months it will long and then it will die. Now it will die. Yeah. It comes back next year. Is it perennial? Yes. Yeah.
Angelica comforts the physical and psychological structure of human beings at the same time. It soothes the nerves of the stomach, where matter is transformed into energy, very important place, and helps against, therefore, indigestion, flatterings or problems linked to metabolic dysfunction, also for dysfunction like cellulitis or obesity. Now, in the major sense, I would say Angelica is a, spy, a psycho-spiritual power plant. Yeah. It's always surprising in you and it's grounding and uplifting strengths altogether. Its psychoactive energy helps those who feel neglected or beaten down by circumstances and invigorates those who suffer from anxiety caused by the lack of vital energy and having lost ground under their feet, so to say. Angelica bestows back the contact with reality and makes it livable. It works directly and immediately on our brain chemistry. It releases neurotransmitters that make us feel awake with a zest for life and existence and with a positive outlook for the world and our own future. It has an influence, as we have seen in research, on the noradrenaline production and it makes you feel awake and optimistic. And possibly even dopamine production is implied, which has the same effect. These, you can call them creative hormones, cause our thoughts to abandon old trodden paths. They activate mobility, imagination, intuition also, increasing our faculty of perception while gently lifting us out of sadness and melancholy. Angelica conveys angelic confidence and courage. It is one of the great helpers during the shaky transition phases on our planet and its human colonizers as we are. Access to higher planetary energies, particularly with the help of medicinal plants, will be more and more discovered by the pioneers in natural self-healing. Angelica, we can summarize, an archangel with the radiance of adamant courage and strength.